Hello, I'm Sophie Ikenya. Welcome to Focus on Africa, our top stories. Also in the program, music to the ears. I had a Lord so deep. How one London company is determined to change the face of opera. Keep going, don't give up, and go for it. Okay. Now, the Pegasus Opera, Opera Company in London supports diverse talent. Uh, they've launched their first mentoring scheme for promising singers and this weekend will host a free online concert that looks back at the contribution that black composers have had in classical music. Phoebe Hobson reports. Joshua Elmore, originally from Alabama, is one of 15 singers on the Pegasus Opera Company's mentoring scheme for underrepresented singers in opera. Joshua sings countertenor, the highest male voice in classical singing. It's one of the rarest. I started singing classically in high school. The um, choir teacher came to me and asked if I want to be in the, in the choir. And I said, uh, no, this is really lame. Um, but I needed the um, high school credits to graduate, so I joined. Um, and then I absolutely loved it. And that's when I started classically singing. And then I went to the university, I started taking voice lessons, and I started singing opera. And then from then I was hooked. And I like something about just the rawness of it. It's you're on stage with the orchestra. There's no electronics, no amplification. And it's just that true, passionate singing that I really, really enjoy. And I think I really like the way it feels inside, the vibrations and all that. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> Opera often comes under criticism for its inaccessibility and lack of diversity, both on and off stage. According to the English National Opera, ethnic minorities only make up 10% of their audiences. Grassroots organizations like the Pegasus Opera Company want to show that the opera really is for everybody. The company's director, Alison Buchanan, is the UK's only black female artistic director of an opera company. She's clear, if opera wants to keep up with the times, it needs to promote black talent. When you go to the opera, you want to see people who look like you on the stage. In England, the classical music world, mostly you haven't seen anybody who looks like you on the stage. The company showcases the influence of often overlooked black classical musicians and composers like Margaret Bonds and Florence Price. Their respective work with the writer Langston Hughes led to many compositions influenced by African-American spiritual music. What are the issues stopping opera being as diverse as it could be? It's a mindset thing. There's this sort of school of thinking where it, black people are not allowed into this into this world and I think as time goes on and that school of thinking dies then we will we will kind of change things. Impressive. That's Focus on Africa for now from me and the team.